There's probably somebody in your life that has been affected by um, or is struggling with or you're feeling concerned about and that you have a role of helping people who are challenged with overcoming an addiction or managing their value system in accordance to the way that they participate in media. So we're so grateful that you're here. So I'm just going to tell you a little bit about me and I'm going to tell you um, just a little bit about this, the principles that you're going to learn today because today what we're hoping that you'll be able to get out of this is something to apply in your life personally and something to apply with the people that you love that will strengthen and help you. And the reason I get to stand up here today is because I just have learned that I have a lot of truth in my life, but when I was able to add the truth that is in this program uh, to the things I already knew, I just became so much more successful and powerful in my life, and so have people that I love in my family. And so I really appreciate this program and the efforts that have gone into it and the inspiration that comes from it. So, uh, so um, one of the things that this program has done for me, this Sons of Helaman program, is it has waken up a warrior inside of me. It has made me feel like I am a warrior. That's who I am, and the way that I do things in my life and the things that I love, the way that I do things and pursue those things is with the effort of and determination and veracity of a warrior. And that has empowered my life and made me so excited. But the only reason I knew that I could wake up this warrior inside me was because I became more aware that I had an enemy and what his tactics were, what he was really trying to do. And so about 10 years ago, we discovered that our middle son had an addiction and um, to a sexual misbehavior, and it had been going on for two years. He was 13 years old, and um, yeah, I might need that. Thank you, Rini, Rini Angie. Okay. Um, anyway, and um, we had tried several things, and uh, by the when he was 16, um, it was just you know, if you're a mother, you know what a mother's heart is, and you know uh, what a mother's heart feels, and how strongly you desire and want to fight or do anything you can to help and create a successful experience for your children, especially when they are struggling. And so, um, ah, I'm not going to say I'm sorry for being emotional because I'm not, but I just will ask you to excuse me because it will make me say some weird things probably if I get emotional. So anyway, the, uh, so with, when we found out about his addiction, it took us about three years until we heard about this Sons of Human program. And by the time my son was 16, he was handsome and had lost all of his chubby fat and hit puberty, and he was thinking, I'm the man. Look at me. I look cool now because he was a really chubby, cute little guy for so many years. <laughs> and then he hit puberty, and he was thinking, woo, look, I'm a man, I'm looking like a guy, you know? And so he not only was he excited about that, he was so excited that, you know, I'm really smart, I have a really, really capable brain, I'm super smart in school, and a lot of people really like me. I'm a pretty cool guy. I have a neat personality, and I'm really fun and happy, and I love God. It's really important for me to be honest. It's really important for me to try to be worthy, and I really want that in my life. And um, he was really athletic, so he was just a really neat boy, and everybody could see, wow, he's a neat guy. And um, But inside himself, he felt like, I'm my worst enemy. I'm my very worst enemy. I'm a pathetic loser. I can't figure out how to manage all this stuff that everybody sees on the outside of me and fix what's going on on the inside in this addiction that I have and that I'm struggling with. So he had defined himself as, golly, 
I really think I'm my, my own enemy. I'm just like a pathetic loser. I cannot get this together. So when I heard about the Sense of Healing program, I told him, you're going to go to a group with a bunch of boys, and you're going to talk about your addictions. <laughs> and he looked at me like, I don't think so. <laughs> and uh, so we went the first week and survived and said he'd go back. And the second week he came home uh, from the group, and I heard him yell. And he really never yelled. And he just yelled really loud, Mom! Exact. Like because I'd heard his car come in and the garage door go up and he was, Mom! And so I thought, oh shoot, that's the end. He's done with that program. He's not doing that anymore because something happened. And I walked in there and tears were running down his face. And he grabbed me by the shoulders and trying to get his emotions under control. Uh, he said to me, <clears throat> he said to me, I am not the enemy. I'm not broken. And he said, I have an enemy, and he is really scared of me. He thinks I'm really cool and scary. <laughs> and I was like, I know that. You know, like, yeah, you are. Uh, but that was so exciting to me. And the reason that he could see that finally in his life, that I am a capable, really cool, really amazing guy, was because this program shines a really bright light in a very appropriate way and a very passionate way um, into a dark corner that a lot of people forget to look at. And it is that the adversary is real. And he's really good at what he does. And if we aren't aware of what he does, then we really get pummeled in life. And so it's really exciting. So I, I just want to, you to know that you're in a really smart place today. You're smart to be here. So if you've never heard of us or you've heard anything that we teach or that we um, have done, then you're, you're really lucky today to wake up to some of the stuff that we teach. And if you already know, um, good for you. It's good stuff. And it's so helpful. But I just wanted to tell you um, some of the stuff that I love about these principles that personally apply to me. Because I was super excited about it and very interested in it for my son. But the way that it has changed my life as a woman and a mother and a daughter of God has been tremendous because I know who I am. And I know when I get lied to and what that sounds like. And I know <coughs> what the subtle, tormenting, manipulative tactics of the adversary are on me because I've practiced and studied those. And I love teaching and mentoring and training women about that because it changes women's lives because we're tormented by the adversary. And the principles that you're gonna to learn today are cool because you're like, hey, hi, that's good to know because not only is this good for my son who's drowning or my husband who's having trouble, or all these people that are showing up with addictions that I'm thinking, dang, I don't know if I can survive. I just need to dig a hole and get in it. Because that's what some women feel like. You're like, this is too big, too much. But when I recognize the adversary has the same tactics and the same determination to put me in bondage to all of his lies and not let me manage my son and all this experience that we're having together, in a good way. He wants to destroy my peace and my happiness and make me broken. And so I thought, this is awesome. When I started learning what my son was learning, I changed my life. And it made me feel like it doesn't matter what, I know I'm going to win. I know my family's going to win. I know we're going to win. And I'm, I don't live in fear. I live in great hope and peace. 
because of the things I know. And uh, so I want to thank you for being here. And I want to thank Maurice for this opportunity to introduce him because it's an honor to me to introduce my friend. Here I go, it's going to get bad. <laughs> okay, that was a noise. I didn't like that. Okay. <laughs> anyway, um, uh, but he's my friend. He's a genuine good man. And I appreciate his efforts to be uh, aware of his duty. And he gets that he's not perfect. Uh, he gets that he uh, is, is just doing what everybody else is doing, but that he has a duty and a calling to teach some things in this world, in this time. And I appreciate that because it has strengthened and helped me and my family. And um, uh, so we just want to thank you for being here and thank you for your efforts and everything that you're doing uh, to just shine more light in dark corners and make it so we can have more freedom in our life. And that is what Maurice has done for me and my family, and he has allowed us to grow and change. And anybody who says to Maurice, I want to be better. I want to help you. I want to do something. He says, bring it, bring it, bring it, bring it. He's a gatherer. And, and uh, I appreciate that he gathers people and that he's allowed me to uh, be one of those people. And so I express my appreciation and love for him and his, uh, and just what he does. And I hope you really enjoy today. Thank you.